Hello YouTubers, welcome back to our channel, Smith Shack's Custom Baked, Rick Smith Shack. Um, today we're going to be working with our with my core shot uh, twig mold. It's it's five and the baits are five and a quarter inches long, and what we're going to be making is um, is a rainbow trout cover. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna shoot the mold twice. Um, the first time was a laminate with the with the green and the and then the whitish belly. And we'll show you how we're going to make that. Um, and then the second shot, after we pull the rods out of the mold, will be with the pink for the for the pink stripe down the side. And I think you guys are going to like this. Um, we're not quite ready for that. So let's talk about this. We're going to use and why we're using what we're using. Um, today I'm going to use the the Lure Works watermelon because it's a little more translucent uh, than than the Lure Craft. And we need that little bit more translucent so we can actually see the pink stripe going down the inside. Okay? And then we're going to use, because of the black spots and stuff on the, on the fish, we're going to use uh, large black glitter. And the, and the rainbows also have some, some like gold flecks in their sides sometimes. So we're going to use some of this small gold glitter too. Um, and then for the bottom half of that laminate, I'm going to use pearl powder. So I'm going to use a white pearl powder. And then because I don't want it to be pure white, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use just a little tiny touch of this deep gold pearl to give it an off-white color. Um, and then, anybody who's ever cleaned a rainbow trout, get them ready to eat, whatever, caught them, you've seen those tiny little uh, silver scales that just come off by the dozens, it seems like. Well, because of that, we're going to use the 015 silver holographic glue. And I'm not actually going to make any more of the pink just yet because um, I have a bunch left over. We're sort of just going to remelt it. But what I did with that, how I made that was I used bubble gum and then a few drops of dead on red to darken just a little bit. Uh, I, I almost used the uh, I almost used the cherry red dye. I thought, oh no, that would be bad. The a dye dyes are bleeders, and the whole bait would turn red if I used that cherry red dye, even just a few drops. By the next morning, they would be turning red. So, we didn't use that. All right, let me check these here real quick. It's cold in here today, so it's probably gonna take a little longer than, than normal. Yeah, that's only 320. And that's normal too for your, if you have two cups in there, for one to be a little hotter than the other one. Just how it works. Okay, we're going to go uh, 45 seconds, I think. That would be pretty close. Um, I've already preheated the mold. And with it, with, I preheated the mold and the injectors um, and the blending block. Um, and with it being this chilly in the garage, if I don't do that, I'll end up with dents in the, in the, in the outer part of the baits. So, um, Preheating, preheating them helps a ton. And if if you're using, in my experience, if you're using the rods when you shoot it, you also want to make sure that the rods are heated up too. Because the rods take up right at half of the gate. The gate is where the where the cavity meets the, meets the runner. Um, and if that gate freezes off, then you get dense. So. Heating the rods and the mold helps ensure that the gates don't freeze off too quickly and then the baits get and then we're and then they're ruined. Well, at least as far as selling it goes. Ooh, a little bit more. Good lord. Yeah, this one's not ready either. 45 seconds, that wasn't enough yet. Okay. All right, we're almost ready here. Another 45 seconds. All right. So what can we talk about for 45 seconds? Not my bottle of water because that's almost empty. <laughs> um, I actually am going to be making a bunch of these to sell. Um, when uh, Quincy Reservoir opens up for the year, I'm going to go over there with a bunch of baits, um, samples, and bag baits for sale. And I'm going to take five bags of these. Uh, 
of these uh, twigs in rainbow trout with me um, just to see. They'll have, they'll have, they'll have the labels on them, the, com the company logo and everything. And uh, I'm going to take some other baits too, There's some shingalingas and some swim baits. Uh, uh, but the rainbow trout should work real well for the bass over there because they stock that place with, with fish from with, uh, trout from the hatcheries. And, uh, and the bass feed on those. Um, I actually saw a bass over there. Kept coming up, this is good. Kept coming up uh, and trying to take a, a trout that was on a stringer. Three times it came up and grabbed that trout in its mouth and, and tried to swim off with it. So it got to the end of the stringer, bam, there it, it lost its meal. So, um, oh, these are both ready. Good deal. Um, so I'm pretty sure that that's going to that work. I'll put this one back in the microwave just to make sure it stays warm, or help it stay warm. And then we're going to go ahead and... Go ahead and put in our watermelon. Oops, here we go. That should be enough. Uh, I should probably stir that first. Alright, let's go ahead and get that watermelon mixed in. I made some of these uh, the other day. It turned out pretty well. Um, I had a couple of issues with the uh, uh, with the cold. Get, I got I got a couple of dates, uh, a couple of dates, a couple of baits with dents. Um, and then I had a couple where the core didn't go all the way. So I had to make sure I heat the heat the plastic off of the core a little bit hotter so that it doesn't cool off too quickly. And, then, and solidify it, freeze up in, in, as you're shooting the cores. So, here we go, here's our black. Funny thing about this black, it never curls. I don't care how hot you get the, how hot you get the plus, so you go 400 degrees, 400 plus, whatever, and that, and that stuff doesn't curl. But other ones like the red, the medium and large red, I've watched that stuff curl as I dumped it in and didn't even have time to pick up the knife to, to stir it in and it was curling already in the plastic so it was only 300 degrees. I'm like, what the freak? <laughs> so I just, you just have to watch your, your different, uh, different glitters, get to know what they do, what they, you know, what you can get away with, what you can't. Um, most of the stuff they send out with red, the, the, the stuff's it's curled because you just can't help it. You, know? you need to shoot the you need to shoot the, the, the mold around 320, 325 in most cases, and and if the, the glitter's curling at 300, well that looks good. If the glitter's curling at 300, then you have a problem. You know, you just, it's never gonna it's never gonna not not be flat. Okay, let's go ahead and get the good one ready here. Okay. With this white pearl first. I try to spread the, the powders out across the top. It seems to help when, when you're uh, when I'm uh, stirring them up and mixing them. And they, and they mix in a little. It's a little hard to mix them in than it is the uh, the colorants. Okay, here we go. Tiny smidge. Most of that gold stuck to the knife. There we go. Now it's starting to discolor it a little bit. All right. 
right, there we go. There's that. Now let's go ahead and put in our last glitter. I'll check the temps on these and see how they are. Probably have to heat them up just a little bit. Put a full scoop of that in. You notice I always try to make sure I open and close the glitters on the table while it's sitting on the table. Because one time I accidentally spilled the whole container all over the floor. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Now it was a mess. Four ounces of gold glitter all over the floor. This is a mess right now. Okay. Alright. We are almost ready, I think, to take this shot. We'll probably have to, um, while the while the pink is remelting, while I'm remelting that, we'll probably have to take a leave of absence, as it were, and uh, while we heat that up. Oh yeah, it's just cold in here. This is already below 300. Even this one, sitting in the microwave. Yep, they're both right about 300. Okay. They're mixed up good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, time for this go. About 45, maybe? All right. I like to keep my table clean. Uh, in large part because the little pieces of glitter get everywhere. And then they can cross contaminate uh, other stuff. Like where you really notice it would be something like this. Like a piece, like if there's some some black glitter on the table, just a few pieces, it ends up in there, yet yeah, you see it every time. Um, so I try to avoid that by keeping the table clean. If I wasn't making baits for everybody else, for other people, uh, I probably wouldn't worry about that too much. Because that doesn't bother me personally. <laughs> on that other one. Almost. Let's go 20 seconds and we're going to shoot it. Alright. Those are still pretty warm. And nobody likes burns, especially on yourself, right? <laughs> Stir to stir up the, the glitter. The glitter has a tendency to settle pretty quickly. Salt is even worse. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and shoot the core, uh, the, the shells. We're holding pressure, and we really need to hold the pressure on this one to help help keep those gates open because uh, they're so narrow. There's such a there's such a narrow area around those rods. Um, yeah, that should be good. So it's imperative that we keep that open. Otherwise, we end up with crappy baits. We're gonna put this in the microwave. Shells are doing here in just a second. We'll just a minute, actually. Get everything else cleaned up and ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make all. I'm gonna try to make all these today. So we'll see how everything turns out with this shot. All right, there's. And then let's clean this. I always make a mess. Always. But it's a good thing this stuff just peels right up.
Hopefully we'll start selling some chingalingas. Because I have a five gallon bucket full of old spruce. It'd be nice to get, get that stuff sold. Can't hint. Okay. Oh, well, you can. SCBase.com. There's plenty of this stuff. All right. Go ahead and open up the bowl. Here, a little bit of odor coming from them. Let's see how long. Well, it's not too hot. There we go. Okay. Oh, we had one dent. Darn it. One out of four. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shoot that one. And. I'll just put it in my type of box. I'm off the rods here. We can't reuse those screws because they're two colors. All right, here we go. Another knife. Stir this a little bit. on that one. Okay. Now we put these back in. I have to make sure that the ends here are open. I don't know if you can see how narrow that is around the gate. Um, but I also have to make sure that that the tails don't get pinched when I close the mold again. Because if the tails get pinched, I'll end up with hollow tails, which isn't a bad thing. That's open. That's open. Um, if that's what you're looking for. I mean, and sometimes I do make them like that. Um, but today, we want those tails to fill all the way down. So let's go ahead and make sure they're. And that's open too. All right, that looks good. finish eating up this paint, right? For, for the next shot, okay? All right, we're back already. Welcome back. Um, I got this, this second shot we want to be super hot. Uh, I just I just checked the temp and it was 369. Um, and we want that next this next shot to be really hot so that the plastisol doesn't cool too quickly as it goes down inside the core. So. Yeah, and if you don't get it hot, if you shoot it like 330, 340, you're going to end up with short, short shots in the course. And if you don't know what a short shot is, that's when the cavity doesn't fill all the way. Here we go. Okay. And this one open it pretty quickly as soon as I think I can open it without the screw draining all over the place. I love this stuff. Look at that. Just poured it. It's already cool. Well, except for the little pieces, little tiny pieces, little, I'm going to say it, they're worse than boogers. You can't get them off your fingers, you have to wipe them off on your clothes. You can't even wipe them off on the other plastic saw, they just stick to you better than they do the other plastic saw, so. They can be kind of irritating, so when you see me pick something like that, I'm, I'm flicking a booger. There you go. I said it. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and pull this out. That screw's draining a little bit, but that's okay. Every single one of them filled all the way down in the core. The only thing we have going on here is we have one that's dented. That's it. 
set one that has the dent. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. I'll show you these ones here. All right, now I'll, I'll trim that later. Uh, there you go. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, um, but there's a pink line all the way down through there. Okay. Now, if I made, if I put more of the white pearl powder in, you can also see that this that this isn't pure white like snow. That's because of that gold that I put in there. Uh, but the but the green back isn't uh, isn't solid either. But if I made those colors solid, you wouldn't be able to see the pink stripe. So in this case, we kind of have to have, um, kind of have to have the, the 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 other colors a little bit translucent. Can you see them there? Okay. So uh, we'll be taking pictures of these. This is a this is a pattern that I'm going to put up on the a color pattern we're going to put up on the website for sale. Uh, it'll as far as the sticks goes, it'll only be available in in the uh, the five and a, Five and quarter inch core shots. Um, as well, the other ones don't, don't have the ability to core shot. Um, well, there's there's some ways, and we'll, maybe we'll get into that later on. Ways to take a uh, like say the four inch stick or the four inch twig uh, and make it and make it a core shot too. But um, until then, until we do that, we're stuck with just these. So. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, the subscribe button will, will, will let you get notifications when we put a new video. Um, and as always, share. Your mom told us to share. Uh, my mom told me to share. Okay. They taught us to share. So share with everybody, all the people you know. And uh, until next time, tight lines and calm waters.